Well, hello everybody. It's Monty, and uh, not every day you start a mission on Mission Complete, but that's what we're doing. Uh, we are down in the free world's commerce, and we're doing some contracts, and last episode you watched part one, it was a defense. And I just finished part two. It was a war zone, and recording didn't happen. So who cares? I killed a warhammer. So there's... I, amazingly... I caught it here, so you can at least see this, and then we'll see the aftermath. And then, uh, it's a three-parter. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Uh, so, let's just grab some stuff. Based on if we have it. I know I need these medium lasers. I know there's a Warhammer, but I can't get it if I wanted it. Don't need those medium lasers, but I'll take that SRM too. And uh, all those heat sinks, because I keep running out of heat sinks and I'm tired of buying them. But yeah, Freeman got hurt. The Atlas, right? I mean, it was right at the end, too. Um, it was really not that bad of a mission. Uh, but with the War Zone, there was a final drop that happened in between us and um, leaving, and it did some stuff. So, let's see what's going on. Commander, your timely intervention in this cowardly attempt on my life has earned you my eternal gratitude. It pains me to see members of the 4th Regulan Hussars taking up arms against me, but they have committed treason in their plotting against the loyal Gibsonians within their ranks, and their reckoning is at hand. Now run down these traitors and destroy them before they can escape you shall be awarded a bounty for killing their leader in my name. Question marks are my rewards. Like, not only is my question mark a question mark, but triple question marks. Of the triple kind. Like, triple, not squared, triced. Anyway, this is why, uh, yeah, I'm going to talk now and not in between. But yeah, I got to go uh, fix up some mechs, and then I will bring you back and hopefully actually record uh, part three because we've got to travel to Dias. Dias. I didn't say it. It did. So we're going to head up there. We went from Kearney to Merampur to Dias. And uh, there's not a repair zone in sight, so I'm probably going to go the expensive route. So it's costing us money to do all this free world's commerce hub stuff. But that's all good. We're slowly making our way up. Just don't forget to the main mission up here. And, uh, yeah, so let's, uh, see you on the flip, shall we? Alrighty, here we are. Quest. Defending the honor. Yeah, Count Cameron Derek Jones has sent us here to, uh, take care of this business of the fourth regular hussars who are causing drama. I put as much as I could in salvage shares and then one in sea bills and damage coverage. It is an assassination mission, so we need to keep that in mind. Uh, and then as far as Mexico, gonna go with the Banshee there, and uh, then I'm gonna go with the Archer here. Look at that, 315. So that left the Catapult and the Atlas still needing repairs, but why spend the big bucks? Um, the Orion. Uh, that's what I ran last time, and I'm going to run it again. Uh, because you didn't see me run it. And, uh, yeah. I should have been in the Atlas, is all I gotta say. Uh, but, yep, this is what we're gonna go with. And, uh, we'll see you when the countdown goes down. And, uh, we're in the mission. So thanks for tuning in. Let's blow some stuff up. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. It looks like Count Cameron Jones has unearthed the conspirators and wants us to make an example of them. Commander Daxa Mahat is said to be the leader of the dissidents and must be dealt with.
like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Our target must have given us the slip. Let's check out the other locations. Acquired.
Take it, I'll take it. And looks like I was actually recording. Man, that was only seven minutes and forty seconds of mission time. In and out. Got a nice little funnel there though at the end. We could have gotten in more trouble than we did. A few repairs to be had, but I think with the rewards. Hopefully Cameron makes it worth it. We shall see. Ready for that new DLC, free DLC to drop. See what they're going to be doing to add on to this game as it goes. All right, still working on our way to Venerable. Look at all those quick draws. Jeez, we should just take one for funsies. Um, look at that. Quad PPC, I'll take it. Um, and then AC... Medium laser with the quad. Man, there was some nice stuff around here. Got ourselves some good medium lasers. Our Banshee got a little bit beat up. I saw that arm. I saw that go in a flying and not a lot of damage, but that's because precision. There we have it. Regulus Guard message from Count Cameron Jones. Commander, you have carried the day and helped me purge the unworthy from the ranks until only... Those truly loyal to Regulus remain. Ha ha ha. Now that those few who survived your guns will face court martial and the fullest extent of martial law, military law, for their ignoble, 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 <laughs> ignoble actions, uh, the Principality of Regulus shall long remember your contributions to this matter of provincial security. I wanted to see three mechs. Um, but I'll take the cash. That's a lot of rep. LRM-15, PPC, and three more medium lasers. They all better be beautiful. But that did get us about 10% on our increased rep. But there we have it, folks. A little bit of damage, a little bit of dings. Nothing we can't just knock on out with a little hammer action. I know that was like this mission right before this was. He's like, calm down. Calm down, Farah. Sorry, bud. Hammers at the ready. Uh, but I'll catch you next time. I don't know where we're going to go, what we're going to do. Maybe you guys can help let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to go get some repairs. Uh, we could go somewhere. Have we done the Free World's Interior? Because we do need to work our way up. If not, the Duchy of Tamarind is uh, a level 10, a little bit harder. Maybe, maybe we can drop more weight. 315 is a good weight, though. Um... Ooh, look at that. Killarney, there might be another little zone over here that we don't even know about. So I'm going to make my way up north, and I will catch you guys in the comments, and we'll see where we go next time in Mech Warrior 5. Mercenaries, the year's 3030. Can you believe it? So I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.